And we are now getting some more breaking news on this entire controversy that grew out of Haryana that has its centre in Nu. Now we've been told that uh, the three-member SIT, the Special Investigation Team, has been formed to oversee the investigation in the communal clashes that took place in various parts of Haryana. My colleague Anvit, who's got us all of those details, is also joining us live to offer more perspective on this story, the latest uh, a uh, piece of news where we are given to understand that an SIT team this is a three member SIT that has been formed to oversee the investigation in the communal clashes that took place in Nu the Mewat area of Haryana remember there was a Bajrang Dal yatra uh, a VHP Shobha yatra that was slated to cross the Nu area which uh, has in fact 79% of the muslim population and 20% of the hindu population they were in fact going to reclaim and also uh, uh, do Jal Abhishekam at various uh, Hindu sites which they claim to be uh, Jyotir links and that's what led to this uh, particular communal clash that has emanated out of Nu. We also are given to understand that there were several social media handles who had put out uh, information about this particular yatra. One of them was an uh, information, a video that was put out by Kao Vigilante and a Bajrang Dal member, Monu Manesar, who in fact said that he will be attending this yatra. And because of that, there was ample retaliation that had took place. There were conspiracies that were hatched from within the new district. There were several people who had sent out apparently and allegedly uh, information over WhatsApp and they had also waited for this entire Yatra to cross the new district and that's why the Yatra also saw a lot of stone pelting. However, while that is one aspect, the second aspect is that the members of the Yatra were also carrying swords and batons. So they were also well prepared for a retaliation which they had already instigated on social media and this is what is going to be investigated upon. My colleague Anvit is now joining us live uh, to tell us about everything that this three-member SIT is going to be looking at. Yes, Anvit. Yeah, Griyasi, three-member SIT has been formed to oversee the entire investigation in these communal tension that has, uh, you know, overplayed in the past three days. And uh, not just this development, but there has been development as far as the number of FIRs and number of arrests is concerned. Hmm. Number of injured also, yesterday it was 60 that the police have told the official figure it has gone up to 70 today. Okay. Uh, the number of total FIRs, that was 41 yesterday. Four more FIRs have been added to it and num total number of FIRs remain 45 as of now. The number of injured has also gone up yesterday, the, the, sorry, the arrest. Mm -hmm. uh, people arrested, it was 116 yesterday, it has gone up to 139. So more people have been arrested, we believe and we are being told that they are right now at new police station and they will be produced at the court today and their custody will be sought. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, the, what update we have is that section 144 continues to be imposed in new area, but the curfew was lifted from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. today uh, for the, you know, for the local residents to arrange for essentials and police have said that they will review the uh, curfew situation by the end of today and then it will be decided whether or not yesterday they have to tomorrow they have to give more relaxation because yesterday it was only relaxed for two hours today the, today that duration was increased so tomorrow there could be a possibility that for a larger time curfew will be lifted other than okay. that uh, police have said that interview uh, services that are suspended will also be reviewed uh, at the end of the day today and the school and colleges that remain shut they are expected to be reviewed uh, by friday because till friday hmm. already the school and colleges are to be remain uh, to remain shut so over the weekend also it is expected that these educational institutes will remain shut and by monday possibly they'll be reopened again but see uh, one important point the, between 10 am to 1 pm curfew was lifted but again see like yesterday it was lifted but it had no impact on the ground situation even today all the shops remained shut all the shutters remained down and there were hardly any people on ground and when we went to those areas where the you know where these shops and market areas are none of the shops were open so it clearly testifies that see the tension prevails in the area the, there is fear among the people and also early in the morning we spoke to some a group of migrant laborers who were seen leaving the state of Haryana they were going to UP or to Rajasthan to nearby or neighboring states mm. to find work because for the past three days they have not been working they have not earned a single penny and they have small children you know yes. three year old infants 
टू ईयर ओल्ड टू होम दे हैव टू फीड सो दैट इज वन प्रॉब्लम दैट द माइग्रेंट लेबर्स आर ऑल्सो फेसिंग दे हैव ऑल्सो अलेज द ऑन कैमरा दैट दे वर थ्रेटेंड बाई लोकल्स ड्यूरिंग द कम्युनल टेंशन सो दीज आर द एरिया यू नो की इशूज दैट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज करेंटली ट्राइंग टू सॉर्ट बट सो फार दिस इज द अपडेट एंड पुलिस एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आर सेंग दैट दे आर कीपिंग अ कीन आई ऑन द सिचुएशन ऑन ग्राउंड ओके और राइट एंड विद आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू स्टे ऑन विद अस वी ऑल्सो आर गेटिंग वेरियस रिएक्शन ऑन दिस बिग स्टोरी दैट वी कंटिन्यू टू ट्रैक एवर सिंस द वायलेंस इराप्टेड आउट ऑफ द न्यू डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ हरियाणा now it is also spilled on closer to delhi that is the national capital region we have an interview with acp varun dahia who is taking stock of the situation let's take a look at what he had to say about the violence that has now spilled out to various other districts of the state so what are the what is the current situation on the ground and your message to the people of gurugram sir this last two two days like everything is just going normal nothing to worry about i urge i have already urged uh, many times uh, to the city people as such there is nothing to fear about everything is just going normal and under control nothing to worry about like i urge those people uh, to the any particular communities as such there is nothing to worry about police is approachable you can dial 112 if there will be any such incident happened they can report they can ask for any assistance or help so there is nothing to about like they need not to leave their place of work uh, where they live gurgaon is based uh, here like as like it's uh, for the people of all the communities it's not uh, just meant for somebody like uh, that this particular community will going to live here and other will not gonna it's a place like where everybody comes from out of the world from throughout the india they work here they settle here so it's a very peaceful environment nothing under everything is under control that way sir three days 22 fires have been raised, have been registered and in that 21 uh, accused have been arrested in that uh, we have already uh, taken preventive actions against 42 people we are ident- identifying those people who usually get involved in any such activities we are taking strict action we are in- trying to identify more people who got involved in any such incident even so we are taking strict action and let me take this across to my colleague anshul who is also joining us live on the broadcast anshul we just heard your interview with acp varun dahia now he ensures that the situation is now under control but we were also looking at your ground reports from various places uh, close to badshapur and the gurgaon area which is very very close to the national capital would like to understand if we juxtapose the statement that's been made by the acp how do things stand on ground Uh, so th- uh, on the ground if you look over the facts uh, there has been no violence that has been reported in gurugram over, over the last 24 hours and that is the reason why the police is confident that the situation is getting back to normal no restrictions have been made whatsoever in this entire district on uh, of gurugram e- except the sona district which saw violence broke out over there which is very close to the uh, new border as well now internet service uh, is is uh, ongoing out here in gurugram and the situation is normal at this point uh, at, at this point in time there has been no new instances that have been reported but yes there is still a fear amongst the people that situation could deteriorate uh, could get out of hand and that is the reason why uh, as, as i reported this morning that few people have left from their houses and have gone back to their native villages because they feared that they might be attacked uh, but yes the police at this point in time is spe- uh, specifically in gurugram uh, police has registered 22 firs 21 people have been arrested uh, in fact the instance that happened where a religious structure was burned four people have also been arrested in that matter as well uh, they they will be presented in front of the court in the next in, in the next few hours is what we are being told so uh, yes uh, and more than um, more than 50 people have already been taken into preventive de- detention just to make sure that the law and order situation remains under control also flag marches are being conducted across the district of uh, of gurugram just to reinstill the confidence uh, amongst the people and also the fear that has gone inside their heads that fear should come down this is the uh, this is uh, this is the bare minimum that the police is doing at, at this time also investigation is also ongoing on people who are uh, who are spreading uh, hate who are uh, mongering hate on social media and fis has been listed in that context as well so yes the police is looking into this entire uh, entire right situation from each and every angle the situation is peaceful at this point in time uh, but uh, but yes there still is a uh, uh, is still a lot of fear amongst the people and the police is trying to reinstill the con- confidence amongst the people of gurugram all right uh, thank you so much for that anshul in fact